Originally, I was going to hide the selected object and demonstrate this particular feature on something more simple, but why not just go for the gold and demonstrate it on something more complex so that way you can understand. So I will go in edit mode on this object and I'm just going to select this entire loop and I'm just going to control click curve extract to extract this into a curve or extract this into a piece of geometry. If I go under operations and control click smart apply, then I'm able to convert it into a curve. So now we have this as a curve. I'm going to take this and the object into local mode for just a moment, just so I don't have to fight with selection. And we're just going to select both of them, curve modifier, and using the F9, we will just get the right one. One day blenders F9 will also uh, indicate the axis in the F9, if it isn't already. Let's press control T, nine zero. And now we are basically deforming this text to go along this object but we see that the resolution of the object isn't going to necessarily work out. So how do we wanna handle this? You know, me personally, I would actually convert it into a mesh and then use a little dice, being a, use a little dice on it because dice is just a classic. In fact, let's try that option. And this is a, this object is, um, how to put it, this object is, is a mess. And what I mean by mess is if we press Alt-V and we look at the wireframe, this is what we're dealing with. So that's never going to deform the way that we want it to. So let us uh, try a few options. Uh, one of my favorites is basically converting it to a mesh, going under operations and cleaning the mesh, which because of clean mesh having recent updates, it now cleans meshes even better. We'll press Alt-W and we're just gonna bring up a blue box and we're just going to perform a cut through there so we can basically dissolve these but we want to perform a limited dissolve so that way it doesn't sacrifice the form and then we'll do the same thing here and we see that certain levels of delete just won't work so we have to do a full dissolve or a limited dissolve we'll grab these two limited dissolve limited dissolve So now we have something like that. Of course, we could have automated that a lot faster, but we're just demonstrating the classic way that we do things. And what I want to do is tap back into object mode, and we're just going to bring up dice, press V to bring up the 2D version. And we're just rolling the wheel till we get just enough divisions to make this work out, while also kind of looking at what we're about to do. So now we have something a lot more finely dice. So now we can just press Q, go with curve modifier and we'll use the F9 to find the right option once again except our H is reversed so let's control T 90 and we'll just flip that and we see that that didn't work out either so maybe it's SY minus one and then we can bring it back like so every now and then text will require that you get creative with both its positioning and the curve especially if you're not dealing with the origin of the curve itself so let's control T 90 uh, control T nine zero do it again and we are almost there I mean maybe we are there it's just it gets to form when we see the hard on the other side it's not so easy when it's on the other side just kidding uh, trying to figure out a joke there without um, making in an um, improper any window and really also think the curve could form this a lot better because we see that this you know kind of gets a little faceted so let's try adding resolution to the curve is not going to work, of course, because this type of curve is set in stone because it was converted from a mesh. But if we go inside adjust curve and we press W, we should be, at, or is it Q? We're able to adjust the curve type. In our case, we're pressing V because we're wanting to change it to, let's undo that and then let's try it one more time. We'll adjust the curve and we'll press V to jump it to nerves. If we jump it too many types, we lose that smooth goal that we're going for because at some point the curve tilt changes, which is what made it move. But really just want to demonstrate how you would take something like this text and make it actually conform to an object like this. Re really this is a basic object, but we want to conform in even more ways, even easier, you know, going forward. So this is just one of our many pursuits when it comes to hard ops, but Having text deform and be able to be, you know, properly um, voxelized is just just one of those things. Um, maybe you don't deal with text that much, but in my life, I deal with text a little bit more than usual.